And good morning. We are following that breaking news this morning in Madison as a Metro police officer shoots and kills a man during a standoff. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson's live off of West Old Hickory Boulevard this morning. And Cole, the scene has been active going on five hours now. Yes, and it's still incredibly active even all after all of this time. So it started just after 2.30 this morning. And we want to show you some video that we got earlier today when the scene was even more active than it is right now. So we know that a person called 911 about a Chevy Impala abandoned with the doors open. And while they were there, they started hearing gunshots from the woods. And then officers got here, inspected the car, and then also heard those gunshots. And the officers started making repeated commands for the man to come out and surrender out of the woods. That went on for about 40 minutes. And then ultimately, they say they saw the man at the edge of the wood line, put spotlights on him, told him to come out of the woods. But then he directed his pistol, fired two more shots with officers in close proximity, according to police. And then one officer ret re returned fire, killing the man. And that officer was Ricardo Cruz. We're going to show you a picture of him now popping up on your screen. And we know and what we know about the gunman so far that it's believed to be a 39 year old man who had an arrest warrant issued yesterday for tampering with electronic monitoring device. And if the man is who they believe it is, the gunman, he is a sex offender for life. He's in that kind of situation right now, according to police and back out here live. I'm going to step out of the way and do a quick zoom in so you guys can see just still how active this is. Again, this is on West Old Hickory Boulevard and you can see sorry, I'm out here just to try to adjust this here quickly. You can see just how active that is. There are still plenty of vehicles up here. The police tape is still on. The full road is blocked off. So be aware of that if you're in this area this morning. Again, the T also the TBI is out here helping with the investigation. They're doing their own independent investigation of this officer involved shooting. 